afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, it is a uh, nice sunny Saturday afternoon. We've had a ton of customers out. We've sold several RVs today or took deposits on quite a few. And uh, I'm not able to do a motorhome today, but I got in a really nice travel trailer I thought that y'all might enjoy. Let's review it. It's going to save you almost half price off of a new one. This is a 2018 Heartland Mallard Ultralight. It's the M28. Can't even get this floor plan anymore. It is a double slide front bedroom, rear bath, uh, pretty much a luxury lightweight travel trailer, guys. It is 31 feet, five inches long. Uh, very clean, very nice. It only, had, only weighs 6,100 pounds. Got an outdoor kitchen, big power awning. It's got the power stabilizer jacks. I mean, this is all, this isn't a stick and tin camper. It's aluminum frame. It has the, uh, uh, has all the uh, smooth fiberglass exterior that looks great. I mean, just a good looking camper. Got the wide tracks axle where the axles are spread apart, which I mean, you need weight distribution bar sway controller anyway, but this right here also helps further reduce sway by giving you a more balanced center of gravity. In other words, versus the axles being one right after the other, this right here will be uh, further apart and a more, you know, it's just a more balanced uh, platform for it to sit on or roll on going down the road. Got an outside kitchen, outside electric refrigerator, got a place for an outside TV if you wanted to put one out here. Got the magnetic catches on all the doors. Got the, uh, of course you don't need a slide topper on this slide out since it's underneath your awning, but you do have one on the other. Spare tire on the back does have a little bolt on hitch for a bicycle rack. I mean, looks good. And I'm not hiding anything by having these doors open. I had somebody made that comment. I just like to show what it looks like with it open. Got the, fi uh, the fiberglass cap on the front, got the LED lights. Full pass-through storage, which this is quite a bit of storage on here. You know, for a travel trailer, it has quite a lot. And of course, guys, you know, a sign of a well-built camper is if you you have a roof in the storage bay, guys. Because if you put something, if you don't, and you put something wet in here, or you leave this open and it rains, that moisture is going to get eventually work its way into your camper and could possibly form into mold and stuff like that. And that's actually pretty dangerous, especially if you have a wood frame camper. This one's all aluminum, but... At least that's a, act as a vapor barrier, moisture barrier. So, you know, if you want to know if you've got a well-built camper or not, look up there and see if you've got a top to your outside bay. And of course, you know, this cap on the front makes it a little more aerodynamic. So, you know, help your fuel mileage a little bit when you're towing it. Look at this huge, super brute power tongue jack. Wow. Uh, this thing's like a 5,000 pound tongue jack. That thing is a monster. That thing probably big a pickup truck up. Of course, it works great. You do have uh, propane bottles. Can't really see them right now, but you got some LED lights. Uh, you do have the solar. It is set up for the Furion solar pack. You just buy the panels and it already got the plug already set up. It's plug and play has 30 amp electrical service and I am running off my generator. So unfortunately, I do not have air conditioning. You've got a slide topper on your main slide on this side. Again, guys, you do have power stabilizer jacks. These are not leveling jacks. See, a lot of people get the two confused and dealers capitalize on that. Stabilizer jacks do not lift the camper. They may lift it an inch but they're not designed, they're not heavy duty enough to pick the camper up to level it. They're stabilizers, they stabilize it. In other words, when you're parked at the campground, you put those down, when somebody's walking between the front and the back, it keeps the camper from rocking. That's what they do, they stabilize it, they do not level it. So, big difference between the two. If you're on a really unlevel site, like most travel trailers, you're still gonna have to pull up or back up on some leveling blocks one of the various different kinds or you can do the old school way and just have some wood blocks 30 amp electrical service i am adapted down to my generator 
but everything looks good over here spare tire uh, got the square tube for your stinky slinky storage or your sewer hose pop those caps off put your hose in there and yes guys we do give you a starter kit with new sewer hose new water hose pressure reducer all the basic necessities you need to go camping with purchase and guys, it's a pretty high-end camper back in 2018. Uh, MSRP is around 43,000 now. They're start about 50,000, you know, to get the equivalent of this in a double slider. Uh, you're probably gonna spend at least 50 grand. I think MSRP on one now is 56 with double slides, but you can probably buy, pick one up for late 40s, 50, but no, of course you can't walk into the new RV dealership and write a check for that advertised price. Haven't been able to do that in many years, guys. You might as well add 10 to 12 grand to that price by the time they add all the fees and upsells and all the worthless upsells and all that stuff. You just can't go into most dealerships for the advertised price and buy it for that. Here, it's 27.9 plus applicable sales tax taken to the bank. Doesn't matter how you pay for it, that's the price. Other dealerships, guys, you go in 27.9 plus tax if they had the same camper advertised for the same price, they're going to make you buy all these upsells or refuse to sell it to you. Because they're going to say, all right, yeah, 27.9, but you, yeah, but while you're here, let me tell you about this five year extended warranty. Cost the dealership $800. They're going to charge you $5,000 for it. Well, you know, you got to realize, guys, that warranty company's only charging the dealer $800. Do you really think they're going to pay a claim when you, when you need them? to pay a claim, of course not. They're gonna find every reason in the world to not pay that claim. YouTube is full of videos of people who have bought aftermarket warranties or service contracts and who had denied claims after claim after claim denied. They realized pretty quick they got ripped off. They spent thousands of dollars on nothing because it was just a dealer upsell. Dealer paid seven, eight hundred dollars for a warranty, sold it to them for four or five thousand. The dealer kept a profit and uh, basically, uh, the, the buyer bought a warranty in name only. The warranty they didn't pay anything isn't much of a warranty, is it? <laughs> and they can just tell all their friends, oh, I got a warranty, but, but when they need it, it doesn't pay anything. Well, guys, that's, uh, that's how modern RV sales work. They, they, they come up with all these fancy products to make it sound good, but uh, all it is is a way for dealers to make money. Uh, gap insurance, tire and wheel packages, roadside assistance, all this stuff, guys, it's marked up four or five times dealer cost, and none of it will pan out when you need it to. Trust me, I've uh, I've seen it too many times over the years. I always say no to any and all upsells. And then they start doing fees, like dock fees, prep fees, happy camper fees, destination fees, and more. We don't have none of that, guys. You know, we've been in business since 1968. We sell used RVs over half a century by keeping it easy, simple, and done. Haggle-free, firm prices, plus applicable sales tax on towables. That's it. Easy, simple, done. Includes our major systems inspection. We'll make sure your major systems work that can ruin your camping trip. We're gonna make sure your slide outs work. We're gonna make sure refrigerator, freezer gets to operating temp, both of them. We're gonna make sure your plumbing systems work. We wanna make sure your roof air conditioner works, gets cold. Uh, I've took it a step beyond, you know, I've done things like I've checked your TV, make sure it works. I've checked your awning, it's a power awning that works great, it works. I've turned on all your lights, they work. You do have a large Magic Chef all electric refrigerator freezer that's ice cold. Um, probably hear it right now on the... That thing's blowing ice cold. Um, Bob took it a step beyond, and of course we check the plumbing systems, which include the faucets, spigots. We check the water heater. It's a six gallon DSI gas and electric water heater. Make sure it gets to operating temp. We uh, check your water pump. So basically stuff that can ruin your trip. We make sure it works, guarantee it to work at time of sale. Uh, this unit does have a sleeper sofa. It does have a table booth that makes a bed. Books and manuals are included. You've got the nice light fixtures. I mean, this is a higher end Heartland um, travel trailer. You've got a front bedroom with his and her entrances and um, queen bed, queen island bed. Live life, laugh, love. Good, good advice for all of us, guys. They left you a little artwork there. And uh, I actually remember to set this up 
Hey, wanna watch your TV? No problem. Swivel that bad boy around right here. Boom, look at that. You can watch TV from the back. <laughs> you don't have to miss television shows. Got a Furion stereo DVD player. Got a, uh, like I said, Magic Chef electric refrigerator freezer already operating temp. That gets operating temp in less than an hour versus an RV refrigerator. It takes six to eight hours. Three burner stove top doesn't look like it's ever been cooked on. Oven looks great. Microwave looks great. Thanks to this island kitchen, you've got tons of storage. Wow, look how, you can tell how little this thing's been used. Look how much pressure is on those hinges. Those get wore down uh, pretty quick. So that usually only new campers have that much pressure or one that's not been used much. Look at this big island right here, big double basin sink, storage underneath it, extra food prep area. Uh, you got a little bit of carpet in here, not much. You've got the LBP flooring that looks great from the factory. Does have a 13,500 BTU uh, ducted roof air, which I wish I had on right now, but unfortunately my generator is not big enough to run the air, but it's not that hot today. So definitely bearable in here compared to other times I've had to do this. And um, let's go here into the rear, huge rear bathroom. And in here, we have a uh, glass in shower. Now they did remove the glass door, so this must have been somebody big like me, and put a curtain up, which gives you a lot more space, and a lot of people do do that. Um, you do have a vanity sink area, big medicine cabinet, RV toilet. Now, that right there, I'm, gonna, I'm going to criticize Heartland on that. Uh, for as much as this camper costs new, why didn't they put a porcelain RV toilet in here? Why'd they put a plastic one? I mean, a couple hundred more dollars. I mean, come on, Heartland. If you're watching this, put, put a porcelain toilet in a higher-end camper like this. I can understand a, an entry level or a stick and tin, but put a plastic one on. But on something that costs this much money, especially on a new one now that are that are fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, put you a, put you a porcelain toilet in there. Okay? Anyway. <laughs> Big closet, I mean deep closet. Not bad. Well, yeah, guys. Um, this is not bad. Turn that TV around. And of course you've got a locking pin to lock this in place. <laughs> so you don't you don't have to worry about your TV going around and around and around. Uh, if you're towing it or something like that, you've got a locking pin right here. You just, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah guys. 27.9 plus applicable sales tax, haggle-free firm. I mean, this thing has very, very, very little use in it. Honestly, you're going to have to buy a brand new one and spend twice this amount of money. And yes, guys, by the time you pay all the upsells, all the fees, yes, a brand new one, the equivalent of this brand new will be easily twice as much as this one, if not more. Or you can come here, buy this one for... You know, for the 27.9 plus applicable sales tax includes our major systems inspection. Now, guys, like I said, we inspect those major systems only, and if we find a problem with them, we fix them. Um, anything else is sold as is, so you will need to come inspect the unit for yourself, or you are always highly encouraged to pay a or hire a third-party inspection service at your own cost to inspect it for you on your behalf, or both. I don't think you're going to have an issue with it, guys. Once you look at it, you'll see what I mean. This thing is just super clean, super nice. I mean, no smoke or pet odors. I mean, this is... You know, people that go out and spend 
fifty and sixty thousand dollars for one like this brand new only wish they could find one like this used before spending that kind of money on a new one because they would have bought this instead of that brand new one for half the price but um i love the colors in here everything about it is really really nice so anyway guys if you're interested in this unit give us a call 706-965-7929 and um if you got questions about it just give that number a call one of my sales people be glad to help you we do have financing available with approved credit no dealer interest rate markup we do offer um uh, nationwide delivery service is two dollars a mile one way or a dollar a mile round trip whichever one's easier for you to figure out we do take trade-ins and if you don't know what your vehicle can tow i do have a link in the video description below which you can also get to from our website parkwayrvcenter.com and that link is to our free interactive tow guide and it will show you how many pounds your vehicle can tow and you put, after you get the exact pounds it'll even you can push a button lower right hand corner and it will tell you uh it show you everything i have on, in inventory that you can tow with your vehicle and it doesn't just go by the dry weight it actually has a formula where it adds you know a few hundred pounds or a certain percentage for luggage food water you know stuff in your gray tank black tank propane batteries stuff like that so pretty pretty neat little thing to use and if you need help with it give us a call during business hours one of my sales people be glad to help you Business hours Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Closed Sunday for the Lord's and Family Day for our employees, and we are closed most holidays, including Labor Day that's coming up. So, yes, guys, we are closed Labor Day. Everybody, including our employees, deserves a day off. So I don't, uh, I don't take my employees away from their families just to sell a couple of campers. It's not worth it. Not worth it to sell 100 campers. So... Um, anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching just wanted to do one saturday video on this smash me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button feel free to comment share on social media i may even come out here and do another video today i'm not sure yet uh but thank y'all so much for watching and um come out and visit with us and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia